A lot of Africans come to UK for a good life, but they come here and they become broke. So broke. If I, I feel sorry for them. You know, in fact, I feel sorry for them because a lot of people don't want to understand that UK is actually not a place for weak people. And I'm not trying to say if you're from Africa or weak. In fact, it's the opposite. I, by the way, for those who don't know, I am from Kenya and I'm African too. I was born and raised in a very small town in Kenya where I didn't know my dad. So, long story short, ended up knowing my dad when I was 20 years old and I decided to <clears throat> come to UK, relocate. So, <clears throat> knowing my dad, 20 years old, I thought he was living in Italy, but the thing is, my dad is Italian, yeah. But he was living in Italy, so came to Italy one week, then came to the UK. As soon as I came out of the bus and we got to the town in UK, I was like, ha, this is insane, hmm? insane. How can we live in the UK? How can people live in the UK? And it's, there is no even difference from where I come from. In fact, it's even worse, broken down houses and stuff like that. Huh? Oh, that's the first thing that I was expecting. UK is going to be like, wow, London. The truth is, a lot of people, they don't live in London. So when they say, I'm from London, they're lying to you. It's because when they say they're from Southampton or they're from, I don't know, Wellingborough, Kettering, they tell you that we live in uh, Wolverhampton or I don't know, whatever, small, small villages and town. You people won't understand where this place is. You understand? Because a lot of people think, oh yeah, living in the UK is all about London. No, UK is, <laughs> London is the biggest city. But the truth is, a lot of people, you can't afford living in London. You can't. Most people cannot afford it. Even people who are born here with family, dad and mom, they can't afford living in London. Let alone somebody like you come from Africa, where you already sold everything. Huh? You sold, you literally sold everything just to come and live here, to be broke. How? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. People sell their, all the money, you know, your, your land, you sell, you sell your businesses and whatever that was doing good in Africa. To come in UK to do what? Oh yeah, I came here to, to have a good life because I had there, you get paid eight pound an hour. So per month I will earn one thousand or earn two thousand if I do... 15 hours a day my friend you will suffer i came here with an expectation my life would be better or because i have a dad and i was thinking you know my dad is gonna be rich my dad is gonna you know he's gonna give me a good life the thing is it was the opposite my dad is already retired you know and now i understand what my dad was telling me you come to uk and you understand my son life is not the way you expect i say i don't care i'd rather suffer in uk guess what i guess he was he was I was thinking my daddy wanted me to come here, but as soon as I realized, oh, hold on, UK actually is very, very true, you know, coming to the UK, you will suffer. You can't come here and expect, you can't come here and expect that everything is just going to work out for you. No, even if you have a dad, you will suffer. In fact, most of the parents, they will ask you to pay for rent. Oh yeah, my own dad is asking me to pay for rent. My mom is asking. Yes, because they can't afford the cost of living. Huh? It's difficult. That's why everyone have to, you have to go half, half. You have to pay. Hmm? Even even you, you have a wife or boyfriend or girlfriend, you still have to go half, half. You can't pay for anything. It's so expensive here. The, the, the life here is so, I don't understand why this gel. I think this gel is not correct. It doesn't make my hair curls anymore. But no, what I'm trying to say is it's difficult. To live here, you have to have a business. And to have your own business, you're going to, in the beginning, it's not going to be easy. It's, you're going to do extra work. But do you have the risk factor that you're opening a business and starting a business and the business is going to work because, you know, are you, are you willing to take that loss? Hmm? Because trust me, it's better you start now and fail than you don't do it at all. Because you have to try. When you fail, you try again and you fail and you try again until you, you succeed. Or if you don't want to be trying and failing, trying and failing, you find somebody who's already doing. You find a mentor, you know. There is a lot of mentor in you, mentors, not in UK, but all over the world, who are doing businesses, are doing well. These people are helping you do this, do this, but you don't listen to them. You know, that's what I did. Came here and I realized, ha, hold on, I'm suffering. I'm here over five years. 
I haven't even bought a land in Africa. I haven't even done anything for my family. I can't even do anything for myself because life is so difficult. Hmm? My, my life is so difficult in UK. And I'm thinking, I have a full-time job. But when people back home, they say, oh, bro, send me some money. And I say, I don't have it. They think I'm lying. But that's the truth. Hmm? I, the, I have a full-time job and still going negative. Paycheck to paycheck. Paycheck to paycheck. So, if you're from Africa and you live in the UK or America, you need to have your own business. And it's actually quite easy to have a, have your business. Now we have online. Hmm? That's what I'm doing. That's why I was able to pay for my first, first class ticket, a business class ticket, all the way from UK to Kenya with the British, uh, British Airways. I came back and I, made, I, I had a long holiday. I had a very long holiday. Stayed in five-star hotel, Sheraton Hotel in Nairobi for five nights. One night was like $250. You know what? It comes with business expense. You know, a business class over 3,000 pounds. Extended another 1,000 pounds for just one week. I was just living in a big hotels, living the life because I wish I was able to do this in the beginning, but I could not. So when I realized it's a system, I said, ah, it's a system. Guess what? And now I'm putting effort online. I'm putting effort because instead of me consuming content online that doesn't have any meaning, I realized, hold on, if I have my own business and I work hard, just like how they make me work in the warehouse and the factories and stuff like that, I could be making more money. Yes, in the beginning it was difficult, but I realized, hold on, I can actually pay somebody to teach me this. I decided 10,000 pounds, paid somebody. So, uh, there was somebody who, a friend of mine introduced me to one guy. It's a very good coach, how to make money with e-com and online stuff. And I was thinking 10,000 because I wanted to meet him face to face so he can show me everything. Uh, told me about Amazon FBA, all about, you know, drop shipping and stuff like that. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to go hard on TikTok shop. Guess what? You are looking at somebody who's making at least 10,000 pounds a month. Doing what? That's the thing. Absolutely nothing now. Nothing. Why? Because I've worked so hard for the last one year plus making this business work. And I made so many mistakes because I decided to do uh, um, paying the cost at the end until thinking, you know what, I have nothing else to lose. I keep on losing. And I came to realize if I'd done this in the beginning, I would have made so much money right on the first three months of joining the, uh, on the course. They listen. But if you want to do that, there is so many people who are selling courses on how to sell on Amazon, how to sell on TikTok shop. In fact, there is no people selling, uh, asking, uh, they have courses on selling on TikTok shop because they don't want you to know. They know you'll be a competition and it's a new market. And that's why instead of you going to pay for a thousand, learning about drop shipping or crypto or I don't know, trading and whatever, it's gambling. Help, allow me to help you. Allow me to show you how I'm doing, what I'm doing. Go and see other, one of my videos. Or if you can click on the shop and see how much I've been selling on this, on this just one shop. You can have more than one shop. You can start from zero. But people don't want to take action. However, for the few that have watched the video until here and you want to take action, or you know somebody who actually wants to learn how to sell stuff online, you know, and, and, and avoid the paycheck to paycheck, you know, rat rates. Let me help you. Click the link on my bio, learn everything, okay? It's a, a monthly payment. You pay in one month. If you learn everything after one month, okay, fine, you can go. No payment to, to, to say, oh, I need to quit this one. You can do that. The thing is, you're going to stay longer because you realize you get so much value and I have so many tricks, so many tips, so many techniques, so many ways how I make money online. You know, I have YouTube channels, I have TikToks, I have Instagrams. Most of these ones, I'm thinking, hold on, I monetize every single thing and I'll teach you every single thing. How to go viral because guess what? Most of my videos go viral and you wonder why this guy always go viral. Oh, this guy, na virus. This guy, na viral, na five, na six. Hmm? You understand? Me and viral is number five and six. That's what my brother was telling me. And I don't understand why every single time I go viral. I don't understand. So many people send my videos like, oh, bro, I've seen your video. Oh, yeah, you went viral. Ah, yeah, bro, what's the technique? Going viral is actually... The thing is, to go viral, you have to provide as much information as possible. You need to help people so straight away they can have a chance. And that's what